justice for all. The roll call was So, um, how convenient, I have a blank sheet. Uh, Jack Ketting? Here. Tom Hooper? Here. Lawrence Meyer? Here. Kathy Bronze? And Mike Fowler. Mike informed us that he would not be able to make the meeting this evening. So, Mr. Chair, you have a quorum. Okay. So everybody was emailed an agenda. So if no questions about that. I would entertain a motion for the approval of the agenda. All right. Second. Second. Um, so wait a second. Lawrence. I'm not used to doing that. That was Lawrence <laughs> one. L M was one. T H was two. Oh, okay. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, motion carries. Agenda is approved. You also were emailed a copy of the minutes from the previous meeting, July 23rd. I noticed something on here that had to do with the total. So I went back and looked at it. The total on page two of the minutes where it said the committee grouped it all together. Mm -hmm. oh, Totaling four, nine, twenty-two. Yeah, let me add it again because I was thinking that it seemed like it didn't add up. I think it didn't, and then we re readjusted it for that. Maybe the wrong number got written down. Okay, okay. But like, we didn't add it. Here. Just make yeah. sure, make sure we're, if it's in writing, it better be right. Okay, so we had, um, I'll go back to you. Search engine marketing for 660. 660 plus. And the then CTM. the rack cars was 1920. Yeah, so that's the thing. Um, the dollar amount that was actually, oh, yeah. Okay, so we actually approved the second amount, which was 2820. 20. Yeah. yeah, so plus 2820. Plus a 392 credit. And 105. Yeah. yeah, right. So maybe that is going to add up. 49.22. 49.22. Okay. Sorry. I think the first time through when I read it, my eye got stuck on the 19.20. Okay. The chamber the options. False alarm. <laughs> so they sound like they are correct. To stand. Okay. Any other discussion about the min minutes? If not, I'll entertain a motion for. Approval. So moved. All right. Lawrence. Second. Second. Tom Lawrence. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Financial report. Yeah, so you have that. Um, it should be um, one sheet copied on its own and then a sheet that's copied front and back. The first sheet that's copied on its own is the month by month um, intake of lodging taxes. And yeah, we're at 21 six and change for the fiscal year to date. And if September comes in roughly where um, the last, roughly or a little below the last couple of months, comes in 2350, we make our budget goal of 24,000. Not that that's required, but just as an item of interest. And um, it's also the end of the quarter because we will report quarterly, so that sometimes we get that boost that way, mm -hmm. especially in the air, new Airbnbs and things. Right, and um, this this budget is unique, as you know, because it doesn't end at the end of the city's fiscal year. It right. rolls forward. It's more like a checking account. So 
um, I just thought it was interesting that we were on par for the year. So, uh, so that's the, the uh, first part of the financial report, and then the second part just shows the um, expenses and actually an incomes by mine item. And that um, September obviously is not included, so yeah. we'll just see where that comes in. Okay, any questions on the financial report? All right. We, yeah, we need approval for that then, right? It looks like we did that last time. I guess sorry, I had a walk in just as a <laughs> well, I couldn't pass. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, we need those. We the need those. The answer's always yes. Yes. <laughs> so we haven't gotten very far. We're down to uh, approval of uh, financial report. Okay. You haven't missed much. So I will t entertain a motion for approval of the financial report. Barnes. Second. Second. Second by Tom. Any discussion? No. Okay. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. Okay. Old businesses updates. Well, one exciting update is that since the last meeting, our new rack cards have been delivered and they are um, at the Welcome Center. I really meant to bring a stack of them with me this evening, but we made the changes that this committee talked about last time. We lightened the background color a little bit and changed some of the wording on it and they really look fantastic. So um, we are distributing those in, as you know, all the hotels along the I-55 corridor, as well as major attractions in downtown <coughs> St. Louis, and also uh, major corporations in the downtown St. Louis area and Metro East area. So the rack cards have come in and they're in distribution. And um, if you're out and about and you want to stop by the Welcome Center and see what they look like. Welcome to do so. I could have brought one too. I had a few left. I had a few left from the history conference. I could have brought some. Oh, right, right. So that was my only uh, old business update. Okay. Any other old business? Okay. New business, approval expenses. Okay. So there's a couple of things on here, um, and then there are some attachments for it. So, Sandra's doing triple duty. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Copy. Right. Hang on, top. Pretty close. No, I'm not. Okay, I'll just see. Oh, there I got it. Thank you. Uh, so at the last meeting, we report or we uh, you approved um, search engine marketing for August and September. So that first line item there is um, two months of search engine marketing that would take you through the no, month of November, six hundred and sixty. Um, we have um, in the fall, we have a major. Uh, major newsprint um, advertising campaign that goes out through the state of Missouri's um, tourism program and from that we get lots and lots of leads labels to put on to uh, postcards and so um, what I've asked for there is some postcard postage for um, lead fulfillment and um, that $500 would buy a little over 1,400 postcard stamps. So um, we send that out to everyone asking for information about St. Genevieve. So that that should take us through the campaign. If you know, we never know how many people are going to respond to it. But if it goes above and beyond that, uh, we could always approve some more. 
um, but I thought this would at least be a good start. So there's 500 for that. Um, the fall road trips and overnight section in the Webster Kirkwood Times, South County Times, and West End Ward newspapers. Um, if we do a half page um, in each of those, it is 1843. And um, we've done that before. I thought you probably would want to do it again, so I've included that. Um, and then I'm making a new proposal that last line item there you have heard me report at previous meetings that um, we wrote a grant this year and did a trial with TripAdvisor and you have um, kind of a summary of that as your last uh, attachment in your pack of papers it's I think, think yours is copied front and back and it starts out with a email from Emily Brillianti uh, she was sending the final report from that um, TripAdvisor pilot program that we did, and you can see that she's saying uh, it was a great performance with a click-through rate of 0.28%. Their benchmark for TripAdvisor across the country is 0.08%, and then there's a sheet that looks like this on the back of your copy, and if you look at that, um, this shows some of the specific digital uh, demographics that we use for um, these programs uh, and obviously uh, this was a much larger program so we had um, specific targets and not knowing what was going to work well um, we did everything from targeting geo-targeting to targeting people who were interested in Missouri destinations to people who were interested in um, St. Louis content, people who are interested in Arts and Culture Weekend. And uh, on your uh, copy, right beside the, the sixth item down, you see where it says 0.35%. Mm -hmm. I try to put a little arrow there. Right, I don't know right. if it showed yep, up in yep, your copy. Yep. Uh -huh. um, to me, that probably would make the most sense to, if we're going to continue this after the trial, um, to go after that type of content. Uh, I usually let them, you know, give us advice on this, but um, she said that uh, we could do a $500 per month um, option called a self-serve platform. And now that we've, you know, kind of ran all these different possibilities, I think that we would be ready for trying the self-serve platform. Um, it's about $22 per thousand on the um, impressions that you pay for. And so um, 500 is, you know, it will be much smaller than this campaign, obviously. Um, but I thought it would be a good place to start and try to kind of keep, you know, that digital campaign going since we were so successful on... Um, Do you have a sample of that on the phone on your account after you can show to us what, it, what we get? Um, whether I have one on here, I don't know. Yes. Yeah, so it's, uh, we used a lot of the imagery that is part of our, um, part of our branded marketing campaign with the, um, the French colonial couple and <laughs> the architecture. Um, and we said, um, we said explore Missouri's first town or discover St. Genevieve. And um, you can see we had a pretty good click-through rate on these. Right, right. Um, I might have a picture on here. I was in a show in Huntsville, uh, and they had a really big campaign. They got a grant for TripAdvisor. Yeah. And um, they had click-through rates, you know, in, in what their average was, but they said that they wouldn't, they would not take their tourism money and pay for it. They would use the, they, unless they got a grant for it again. And but it was, a, it was about a fifty thousand dollar grant that they got. Yeah. And so anytime you're, you're so you got near something in, 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 that was on TripAdvisor in, in Huntsville, it lit up your phone. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. the restaurant, it was like thirty so, things so every time you turn around. TripAdvisor gives you a grant no to, no no this was this is actually through a tourism rep from the state they, oh, okay. yeah they applied for a grant specifically to do a program with TripAdvisor 
and which is what we did. So every time you turn your phone on there, you know, if you drive by anything, all of a sudden there's five things that pop up on your phone that say, Tripwire says you should do this. Oh, really? Is that and, the way it works? Oh, yeah. Well, well that, it, yeah. there are different types of cameras. There are different. Oh. These were when people were actively searching, like if they were, the first set was if they were in the St. Louis or Kansas City, Memphis, and Indianapolis, and they were searching on Arts and Culture Weekend or, you know, with a Missouri destination or, um, the just Missouri destination general content and then St. Louis content and um, so that's uh, if they started out from Chicago and were looking for St. Louis content we didn't score as well there I mean their regular um, reference point is 0 .08 so none of ours were below their TripAdvisor um, norm. norm but that was our lowest was their norm that 0 .08 was when they were from Chicago and searching on St. Louis, and huh. we got a click-through rate of 0.08, which is fine for TripAdvisor, but our best ones were, you know, more than one in three people who were exposed to the information clicked through to St. Genevieve. So, and it takes them directly to our website when they click on it. Um, and so these, how, how long of a time period was this total click through something? Uh, so this was in from the end of May to the end of July. So it was a little over a 60-day period. Okay. So it taught, basically, if we had the same number of you know, click-throughs and everything, that would be about you know, almost a dollar a click-through. They did 1,300 in a bigger campaign over, over 60 days. Uh, well, so the rate that you pay is uh, $22 per thousand, right. and then of that um, thousand, yeah, I see what you're saying, you would have a, like, click-through rate of 35 percent, right. yeah. So that actually shows how many... Um, well, you've got 1,333 click-throughs over that, core, uh, over a 450,000. Mm -hmm. On average, the total program, yeah. So if we did one divided by four seventy three, yeah, that's where they got the twenty eight percent. Yeah. So you said a dollar a click. It basically, basically over this sixty. If, if we, if it costs us five hundred dollars a month, this is a basically a two month campaign. Mm -hmm. If we had the same coverage, and we got thirteen hundred. Clicks for the thousand dollars. About we have about seventy six, seventy seven cents per click through to the website. If we had that amount of coverage, that sounds expensive to me. It does to me too. Do we have any idea how how much follow through there is on a click? I mean, does, is there any way? Well, they they were not. You know, uh, you could look at it in terms of. What if they hadn't clicked on it? They would not have been aware of St. Genevieve or the website. So if they're interested in, you know, taking that trip or pursuing that, certainly, you know, they would have the information to plan their trip. So from there, you get into, uh, you know, the total bounce rate on the website and all the other right. statistics yeah, that we want. So how many of those 30? 1,300 that, that clicked through to our website, how, how many of those actually came here? Mm -hmm. And how is that in performing yeah, to just our, just our website? How do you gauge that? Yeah, that's an expensive right? conversion study. Yeah. So. And, and how many do we normally get in clicks do we get on our website for just our search engine marketing? $300 a month. Well, that's true. Uh, I mean, so just, you can't yeah, know. It's just a comparison. Right. Other than, uh, you know, the click-through rate being higher than their average and getting people to the information. Well, I just want to do a cost comparison because, you know, what, what, how many click-throughs do we get on our, your website? From the other search engine marketing program? Yeah. Yeah, we get to that. that. Was, you know, this, yeah. So we're paying $300 a month, $330 a month for X that, number of clicks. X yeah. number of clicks. And, and 
by spending another $500, is that going to be proportional cost wise? Right. Or would we be better off spending that money in full page ads? Or, 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 or doing the other thing. Or finding, yeah, I'm just asking. Yeah, find, finding three places to do $500 ads in different thing, places yeah. we haven't touched on in the region. Mm -hmm. I was just trying to migrate to more uh, digital emphasis with this uh, program just to give you more variety uh, for well, I think that's a great idea. I think it would be nice to have some gauge on whether it's successful. Cost per click and trip advisor. And a nice thing, TripAdvisor is a, a mark that are traveling, which is different than just people interested in St. James. So there's, you can see if there are other more qualified right. than that, but it's... They're ready on the road, you mean? Right, but we want to make, make sure that we're, we want to get the biggest bang for our buck. Right, yeah. So I can find out um, there's, there's, that cost comparison in, information between our current search engine marketing program and what the TripAdvisor cost per click is, and uh, email that out. and. For now, just table this item, and then if you want to pursue it, yeah. uh, I don't know if we can do electronic voting. We probably would have to reconvene, right? We can now do electronic voting. Okay. So if you want to pursue it, it's not a big deal. We can just reconvene. Yeah, it seems to me there is an argument that a trip advisor user is probably a higher quality click through. Yeah. Than just that, a general. What is that higher quality click through costing us twice as much? Ten times as much. Mm -hmm. What's that ratio? Uh, they're all pretty uh, cost competitive. I mean, they're going to be in that twenty but something. We, you know, we need the statistics to. So that oh, I'm, I, yeah. I don't. I don't think it would be twice as much right. as what but I'm saying. Just, yeah, just I apologize for leaving. I have to be at the it's park okay. meeting. I'm going to lock the front door so you don't get any surprises. Okay. Uh, <coughs> and so we exit out. that way. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, but you might need to leave let Don in after to do whatever he needs to do. Okay. Oh. Thanks, Martin. Thanks, Martin. So for now, you want to um, table that, find out some more information, and um, I just like to do a cost yeah. comparison. Yeah, that'd be good. That's fine. I I just wanted to put something out I, there. I, for your I think it is a direction that we should explore. So we want to make sure that we're we're doing a good job with our money. Yeah. Does everyone agree? Okay. Yes. So without that in there, then it's we're looking at, at yeah, 3,003 is what we're looking Same number I got. <laughs> Must be right. 45 minus 15. <laughs> Do we want to discuss the three papers that we're putting in as far as size of those ads? Are we comfortable with them? What did we do last year? Oh, half page. We did do and we page. did that in the spring, too. And um, we, these are actually they're not full size newspapers. There's a half size, more magazine style. It, it's not magazine style. It's, it's the, yeah, I mean, you've seen, I've brought them in many times. It's um, about this size. <laughs> And the content of those basically is uh, all the calendar events for the fall. So, yes, so we can focus on uh, living history activities. That's what I thought we would do. And um, and a lot of times they'll give us a bonus uh, editorial, too, on the same page. Response, you know, every, every, you know, all the attractions because people want to have, want that whole experience. Mm -hmm. And are the so, the articles? We don't know if they're above the fold or below the fold. So if it's a half page. Uh, so usually the ad is on the lower half and the uh, editorial is on the top half, but they usually put it on the same page. And you I say they will be yeah. doing that with all three? Yes. The editorial? Yes. Okay. 
So in this, it, it, the, it, the layout the is, yeah, the layout yeah. is basically the same. So in essence, it looks like a full page. Yes. Okay. Any other discussion on that uh, item? Well, I'll uh, entertain a motion then uh, for approval of 3003 with tabling the uh, trip advisor for right now. So moved. All right, Tom. Um, second. Second by Lawrence. Any further discussion? Okay, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. So, um, what will, with your permission, I guess, uh, the point, the way forward would be to get the comparative information between the two different digital programs, send it out. I can, I can include a screenshot too. Or, and or, then, or any link so we can go through and click on TripAdvisor and see what it's on our mobile devices or mm -hmm. so we see what is, so we see real time what what the well so are. our ad campaign is not active now but TripAdvisor you know uh, you may not see our ad when you go on a TripAdvisor but I could send you a screenshot of what it looked like um, and then you would have to get back together again to actually vote for that. That's okay with everybody. Okay. Okay. Uh, someone, uh, this is a little bit unrelated, but someone had asked when the next year to FET uh, discussion meeting is. I don't. I don't know if it was someone. I had asked. We had the meeting went, but I, yeah, I wasn't able to go to it. Conflict. So. Yeah. Um, so their next one is going to be on the 17th, which is a Thursday. It's right in between the two Board of Aldermen meetings. So if there's anybody on this group that was asking about that, it's October 17th. Okay. Any other new business? Any other business come before the board? Hearing none, I will entertain a motion for adjournment. Second. 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 Second.